Okay, so this week we're going to talk about pivot tables. And I want to start by talking about just what a pivot table is. So last week, the end of last week, we talked about um, organizing our data in a slightly different way. So I have this list here, uh, which is kind of table data, one directional data. Okay, so I have the date that uh, an income or an expense occurred. I have the type, whether it is an income or an expense. I have a description of that income or expense, and I have an amount. So there's a couple things that I should note. Number one, uh, the descriptions are kind of set, so you'll notice that miscellaneous, I've always typed it the same way, okay, because that's going to be important when we talk about summarizing this information. Um, so just keep that in mind. So what we have here is we have list data that is great from a storage point of view, it's wonderful, but it doesn't really tell me a lot. So for example, let's say I wanted to know how much in total have I spent on my hydro? Well, in order to do that, I'd have to go and find each entry for my, let's say, hydro bill. And I have to go find it and add it up. And that's just not feasible. And that's why, typically, we organize these types of spreadsheets as a finalized product. But, if we have this type of data, we can utilize a pivot table to summarize it very quickly. And typically, how we work this is a pivot table is going to start with a question. So let's say I wanted to know, in total, how much I've spent on each of these descriptions. In total, how much have I spent on cable, uh, miscellaneous, hydro, or how much income have I gotten from rent or salary, in total, irrespective of date. Here's how we do that. First of all, it has to be entered as a list in Excel or a table. Okay, and we talk about tables in another video. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna leave this as a list, which means basically I've just typed in the information. I'm going to go to the insert tab. I'm going to choose pivot table. Now, one thing I should point out is that it doesn't necessarily have to be Excel. We can actually create pivot tables on external uh, data from outside Excel. It could be an access database, could be a separate Excel file, could be uh, any really a lot of different data sources are acceptable. Okay, and to do that, you use this option here, but I'll do a different video for this. For now, I would just like it to use my list data. It's automatically pick up the range because I clicked into it. I'm gonna put this pivot table on a new worksheet and then I'm gonna hit okay. It creates a new sheet called sheet two. It's taking me to that sheet and it's popped up this essentially this pivot table. I kind of call it the control panel. This is where I build my pivot table. You'll notice it's also added two tabs along my ribbon, analyze and design. Now. I want you to note something here. We'll start right away with this. If I click outside of my pivot table, this is my pivot table area. If I click outside of it, you notice those two tabs disappear as well as my little control panel on the side. So you have to be clicked into the pivot table to get these options. The other thing I wanna tell you is if you happen to close this by accident to create your pivot table, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the analyze tab. There's a show section there or there might not be a show section, there might be a button directly for you. It says field list, and that's gonna pop it back up. Okay, so now we've got that out of the way. I need to build my pivot table, and there are three main areas, okay? There's rows, so what do I want as row information? What do I want as column information? And what do I want as values? Now here's what I mean by that. I am simply gonna grab description here. These are all the fields from my database, right? Those over here. These are the fields I had in my database. So on my pivot table, those are the field options I have. So I am going to click and hold on description. And this is how I like to build them. There's a lot of different ways, but I'm gonna click and hold on description and drag it down into the row area. As Soon as I do that, you see it actually lists out each of my descriptions, but only once. It's summarized them, it's grouped them together. So you notice, remember, Hydro was listed here several times down throughout this list. But on my pivot table, it only lists it once. Then I'm gonna take the amount that was spent, and I'm gonna put that in the value. I want that to be summarized. And by default, when you add a number field here, it's going to always do a sum. So with two simple clicks, I've summarized this list. Now this list might be 10,000 records, it might be a million records, but we've summarized it into something useful now. And the advantage here, the advantage without actually creating this spreadsheet by itself is that now it is very adaptable. So let's just give me, I'm gonna give you a quick example, okay? This is listing everything, invoices and expenses, not really categorized in any way. But remember, I had that field here, income or expense, and that's under the type section. 
Well, if I simply bring that into the fold here, I'm going to drag that and put it above description in the rows. Look at that. These are all my expenses. These are all my incomes. And I can collapse and expand them because I've added multiple fields into my row labels. I can get summary information. Honestly, the possibilities are endless. We can do a lot of different items and change with pivot tables. So please check out the upcoming videos this week because we're going to really dive into some really good features that we have in pivot tables uh, in Excel.